Jonah from Redeemer Lutheran Church in Victoria, Texas. Welcome to another episode of Kids Connect, Bible Stories for Preschoolers. Our goal is to help your kids connect to their Savior Jesus as we gather each week around God's Word. Good morning, Jonah. I like your jammies. They're so cute. <laughs> How did you sleep? Good. Good. Uh, I had some silly dreams. Do you have silly dreams when you sleep? Sometimes it's like we get to see a movie in our heads while we're sleeping. That's a dream. In our story today, a man called Pharaoh, because he was the king of Egypt, he had some silly dreams about some cows. And we're going to learn all about it as we read today about Pharaoh, the king's dreams. Let's open the Bible to Genesis chapter 39 and 40 and 41 to learn about Pharaoh's dream. Let's pray. Dear God, as I hear the words you say, bless my life in every way. Amen. Do you remember Joseph? Last week we learned that Joseph's brothers sold him into slavery in Egypt. There, Joseph worked for a man named Potiphar. And the work that Joseph did was good. God blessed Joseph while he was there. But Potiphar's wife got angry and jealous and she lied about Joseph. And because she lied about Joseph, they locked Joseph up in prison. Joseph had to stay in prison a long time. And two other men were prisoners there who worked for the king. And they had some silly dreams while they were in prison. And Joseph prayed to God and asked for help to explain the dreams to these two men. Later, when Pharaoh had a dream, one of them remembered that Joseph was able to explain dreams with the help of his God. Later, when Pharaoh, king of Egypt, had a dream that he didn't understand, one of the men working for Pharaoh remembered Joseph and how Joseph had been able to explain their dreams in prison. So they summoned for Joseph. So the next morning, Pharaoh, king of Egypt, had Joseph brought to Pharaoh's throne room to explain what happened in Pharaoh's dreams. Pharaoh said, tell me what my dream means. And Joseph replied, my God knows everything. Tell me your dream and God will tell me what it means. Well, in my dream, Pharaoh said, seven fat cows came out of the Nile River and started eating along the banks. Then seven skinny cows came up out of the banks and the skinny cows ate the seven fat cows. What does this mean? Joseph, led by God, answered him. The seven fat cows mean seven years of good crops. But the seven skinny cows mean that after the first seven years, the water will dry up and there will be seven years of bad crops. God is warning you so that you can put someone in charge to store up food during the good years so that your people will have enough to eat during the bad years. Pharaoh told Joseph, I like your plan. And because Pharaoh saw that Joseph's God was with him, Pharaoh made Joseph in charge of organizing and ruling the nation. What a blessing that God was with Joseph in prison in Egypt and all the way into Pharaoh's throne room to put him in charge of the entire nation of Egypt. And God is always with us, no matter how hard or scary or sad our lives might be. We are never alone because God promises he's always with us. In Genesis chapter 39, the Bible says four times that God was with Joseph. And that same promise is true for you and me, all the believers in Jesus, that God is always with us. 
He gave us that promise in Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. Let's learn this Bible verse by heart so that we can remember that God is always with us and we are never alone. Repeat after me. Be sure of this. Can you say that with me? Be, Be sure, sure of, of this. Of this. I am, I am with you, with you always. always. That's what God says to us. I am, I am with you, with you always. Let's say the whole verse one more time just to remember. Be sure of this. Be sure of this. I am with you always. Uh, oh. <laughs> I am. I am. With you. With you. Always. And that's what God says to us in Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you that you are always with me, especially when things are hard or scary or sad. You promise that you will never leave me alone, just like you never left Joseph alone. Amen. Thanks for watching. I hope you can join in next week, Tuesday at 10, for another episode of Kids Connect. Bye! If you're interested in devotions for older kids or adults, or want to watch next week's Kids Connect, like us on Facebook or connect with us on Instagram, YouTube, or our website at wellsredeemer.org. God bless and keep you this week. You are loved.